My name is Joe Reichard. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Sab Doctor. Today we're going to be testing out the King Bolin Wi-Fi scanner. But first, I'm going to kind of talk about how I got it and how weird of a situation it was. So, about a month and a half ago, I got an email from a guy named Young who worked for King Bolin. It seemed, seemed pretty average. Hey, uh, you seem to be running a nice automotive channel, share knowledgeable content, we'd like uh, content cooperation with DIY guys, blah blah blah. I mean, there were a bunch of channels that were, uh, that were copied on here that I've heard of. I mean, one that stands out is B is for Build. Probably one of my favorites. So, you know, I was like, cool! You know, they, they want to know if I want to try a launch scan tool. And I'm like, heck yeah, I want to try a launch scan tool. I'll I'd love to test it out for you guys, make sure it works on SOBs and the fleet, you know, make sure we don't have any problems. So he goes, hey, fill out this form and, uh, you know, we'll get back to you. Fill out the form. He says, hey, are the cars that you listed made after 1996? I said, yep. He goes, cool, we're going to send you a launch Sea Reader 3001. Sent me an Amazon link. Uh, I said, yep, they are. And I'd, you know, I'd love to test their basic one out and possibly another one at a later date. He said, hey, I've got lots of work to do. I'll send you a tracking number within 7 to 15 days. Now, I never received a tracking number. But then his next email came, funny enough, on my birthday. So about 13 days later, yep, 13 days later, hey, sorry for the late reply. The Sea Reader 3001 doesn't support all car models. I'm going to send you a King Bolin Wi-Fi tool. So, all right, fine. The next day, I actually received this first package. And I'll put the actual video of me opening this at the end of this video, just so it doesn't slow everything down in the middle. But if you want to see me opening this package for the first time, take a look at it. Now. It looks like they fulfill through Amazon Prime. So I grabbed the package, I picked it up out of my mailbox and I don't know if you can hear that rattling. So I opened it up and it was uh, sleeping pills. So um, I got sleeping pills or muscle ease. Yeah, I really don't know what this is. This, this is, this is going, going in the garbage. So, I emailed him back with a picture and said, either there was an issue with the shipment, or this is some kind of weird joke, let me know what's up. He responded with, oh my god, what is this? This is a very serious question, I will investigate and send you a new one. I said, I was questioning that as well. It came with a sheet that said, King Bolin Wi-Fi scanner, blah blah blah. He said that they fulfill through Amazon, must have been a mistake, and... About a, about a week later, he hadn't responded and I hadn't gotten anything. I said, I asked if anything had, had come of it yet. He said, sorry, too many works. Maybe they forget to send it. I will let them know. Now, I received, I received this. I received this, uh, well, there isn't a date on it, but I received this shortly after that. Uh, I haven't opened this yet, but this one feels Square, so let's open it up. Ah, there we go. Don't know if you can see that, but it's a uh, King Bolin OBD2 scanner. Just like he said. And it came with the same sheet in it. Ah, he, it got sent the same day that I sent him an email asking. So anyways, I have one. Let's test it out on the NG95. Uh, I don't know how to use this, so we're gonna try this together. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty, I'll just bring this in. I mean, it looks pretty average. I'm gonna guess you just plug it in and it says Wi-Fi, so. I, I guess it's not Bluetooth. I expected it to be Bluetooth since it says it works with Android and iPhone as well as PC. I think it says PC. Yep. iOS, Android, Windows. So 
It's supposed to work with all three. I don't know exactly how it works. So I looked online and it said to download either the Torque app or Dash Command. So I downloaded both of them because I didn't know which one would work. So we're gonna test this out on the NG95. It had a check engine light that's since went away. I'm pretty sure it was for the uh, boost, what is that called? Is it a boost control valve? Whatever it's called, I think it's boost control valve. I'm having a night, it's kind of late. So um, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see if this actually works on the 95. Um, and, you know, maybe try it out on one of the other cars, too, since we're down here in the shop. I could probably plug it into the Vigan, too, so let's give it a shot. All right, so step one is obviously going to be to plug this in. Just make sure to plug it in the right way. All right, it's plugged in. It's lighting up, so it must be doing something. So I'm going to go here on my phone. I'm going to go into settings, because it said something about it being Wi-Fi. Look for it. Ah, Wi-Fi OBD2. You can look here. Wi-Fi OBD2 shows up. So we're just going to select that. We'll connect to it. Okay. I have to switch to mobile internet. All right, cool. So it looks like it's connected. So it's connected. I should be able to open Torque. Okay, so what you have to, so what you have to do to get this one set up, go to settings, go to OBD2 adapter settings, then you hit connection, change this to Wi-Fi. Okay, so one thing you have to make sure to do is hit this choose Bluetooth device, and it'll say building adapter list, and you select it. And now it should be working. Host unreachable. Host unreachable. Okay, so this time it worked. If your, if your phone asks if you should use mobile internet, don't do it. That was, uh, that was my error. So we'll turn it on, turn the car on. So it's connecting. So then you click the little gear in the corner, hit fault codes, show logged faults, and it's doing things. And I have P I have PO234. So I'll select that. Turbocharger overboost condition, which that goes exactly in line with the um, with the boost control solenoid being bad. So I'm actually going to. Well, I can actually hit web on this. Let's hit web. See what it says. Oh, DTCSearch.com. This is actually really nice. Comes up comes up pretty well. Uh, it's not going to do a whole lot because my internet is through the OBD. Two, or yeah the OBD2 thing right now so we'll just go back so that actually is pretty nice so okay it's connected to the ECU it says ECU okay so you can actually log things display your fault code so I can hit a display I can drive cycle since last DTCs now this is nice um, I wish I could move it around, but it actually shows what has been checked and what hasn't. So right now, everything's, every you know, all my readiness, readiness monitors are set. Oh, you can actually move it if you click on it and hold it long enough. That's actually a pretty nice thing. Okay, so then let's just add... Um, I don't even know what to add. Add display... Um, drive cycle since last. Oh no, that's what I have. Oops. Delete display. I mean, you can add a lot of stuff with this. I've never actually used the Torque app before, so this is actually uh, pretty intriguing to me. But it does work, and it reads codes and whatnot. So that's a plus. Let's uh, let's try it in the well. Kind of dark where the big end is. 
Oh well, we'll try it where the Vigan is. All right, so we'll do the exact same thing we did in the NG95. Take it, plug it in. Now this one's a lot harder to see if it's lit up or not because of the angle it's on, but you can see it's lit up right there. Turn the key to on. You might have to close the app. Yeah, I'm going to have to close the app and reset it. Oh. Why does it say host unreachable now? Oh, you know what? I know why. Because you have to go back into your Wi-Fi and reselect the OBD dongle as your Wi-Fi thing. Okay, do that, then go back into Torque. All right, here we go. Does an automatic search. Checking. And once again, it brought everything up. It says everything's completed. It can go in. I don't think this has any codes, but we'll see uh, logged faults. It says uh, none stored. So, uh, yeah, this thing actually works relatively well. Can't wait to actually like give it a good try out, doing some data logging or something with it. Um, we're going on a trip with the 9.5 this weekend, and you know something? I'm going to bring it with just in case something comes up, and I'll be able to uh, actually maybe talk to that next time I film. So uh, <clears throat> this is going to be a little bit of a shorter one, even though I feel like I probably got long-winded in there. I'm sure I'll edit some of that out anyways. But... Uh, I, w I want to say a quick thank you to Young at King Bolin. You know, I, I thought this might be a little bit of snake oil at first. I wasn't sure the quality of it. I, I figured, you know, it's a it's a $13 unit. I figured it wasn't going to be very good, to be honest. And it's working surprisingly well at this point. So we're going to keep trying it, keep testing it out. I'll put a link to it on Amazon in the description below if you want to try one out yourself. I mean, $12 OBD reader, that works. How can you go wrong? Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and sob on, folks. This is supposedly a scanner. Let me just prop this up. Nope. Uh, looks like there was a mistake. Oh, I'm doing this upside down. Nope. Looks like there was a mistake. I'm really not sure.